Hello and welcome back to my channel. My name is ABJ and in today's video, I wanted to do a bit of a final update on the 30 day kettlebell challenge of doing 10,000 uh, 10, swings. Um, I finished it up on Monday, I believe, this past Monday, and uh, that, that, that hit the, uh, the uh, 30 day mark. And um, I gotta say, it was very interesting. Um, it could have been a lot more intense. It could have produced much more significant results. Remember, uh, like if you've been following along, I've been using a uh, 20 pound kettlebell. And uh, well, you know what? A quick interruption here. If you can't tell about the sweating right now, <laughs> you're gonna find that out soon. But what I'm gonna show you this uh, brutal workout that I just did. <laughs> I just finished the workout and I'm kind of like filming the intro to this video right now uh, to talk about the kettlebell challenge. But uh, yeah, that was brutal. I'm still sweating from it. But um. Yeah, I was uh, using a 20 pound kettlebell, so it's not too intense. Um, today, for example, the, with the workout that I did today, I was using a 45, pound kettlebell, a 45 pound kettlebell. If I would have done that, it would have been a whole lot more uh, better results. However, my body may not have changed uh, as far as like, uh, you know, dramatically. There, there, was, there was some progress. In fact, if I put a shot here right now, you can uh, kind of see like how I look right here and how I looked before. There is a slight difference, but as far as like weight and uh, uh, body composition or anything like that, not too much of a, a difference, but what has changed is strength. I've definitely gotten a lot more better. My core strength, the, you know, the middle of your body and everything is a lot more better. I'm able to do a lot more functional movements with more strength. That is all, I've, that's all I could have ever wanted because like I said, I'm trying to turn it up a notch as you will see soon with this current workout that I did today. You rewind one month ago, there's no way in the world I would have been able to do what I just did today, which you're about to see soon. There's no way I would have been able to do it. I would have been falling out here on the floor. You know, somebody would have been leaving comments wondering if uh, 911 was called. <laughs> it would have been brutal, you know, but um, yeah, I got through it. I got through it and I got through the challenge. And um, that, that was, like I said, that, that was great. The, the best thing I could take away from that was me learning consistency with uh, exercising, you know, I had to stick to it. I had to stick with it every single day, no matter what. No matter what was going on uh, during my day, I had to do my 300 kettlebell swings. And um, I stuck with it. I stuck with it. There were days where I had to spread it out throughout the whole entire day in order to get it done. I'm talking all the way down to 10 o'clock at night just to get the, like the last 20 reps in. <laughs> but if you watch one of my, my earlier videos, I did like the, uh, the 300 kettlebell swings in one workout. Now, if also, if I would have been doing that, things also probably would have been a lot more different, even with the 20-pound kettlebell. But all in all, the, my, takeaway, my takeaway from it is that my strength has definitely improved. My core strength has definitely improved. My stamina has improved. My cardiovascular has improved. Um, as you're about to find out momentarily when I show you this current workout that I just did today, which is kind of a segue into what I'm getting ready to do. Um, soon, which uh, again, uh, if you've been following my channel, I've been talking about, I have a huge, huge weight loss challenge coming up. I'll announce that soon. And, uh, this workout that I'm about to do is, is like a good, uh, teaser of what's to come. That's not going to be all I'm going to be doing, what, what you're about to see, but it's, a uh, kind of a taste of what, of what's to come. Um, along with the huge uh, change in my diet and how I'm eating, what I'm eating and things like that. Still keto, uh, but there's going to be a lot of twists and turns and little challenges I'm going to be throwing in there as far as what I'm eating, how I'm exercising, the whole nine yards, um, including water and the whole, like everything. Everything's going to be changing. But, uh, so yeah, that's about it, you know, as far as like the kettlebell challenges went. Um, so, yeah. All right. So, without further ado, we're going to get into uh, <laughs> today's workout, which was a bit brutal. What I've used in this workout is a 45-pound kettlebell and a 12 pound uh, medicine ball right here is the 45 pound kettlebell and right here is the 12 pound medicine ball this is something kind of like a slam ball like where you can uh bounce it up and down and things like that yeah that was interesting um the best thing i can say about this workout is the fact that it just feels like the, like the a lot of tension. It, it relieves a lot of stress, especially when you slamming the ball down. It's like, oh, it feels great. My endorphins are running like crazy right now. That's why I'm speaking like, 
my, my energy is all over the place right now. So it's a great workout. You feel, it's, it's brutal during the workout, but you feel amazing afterward, you know. But without further ado, let's get into the workout, and I'll see you at the end.
last set. You know what? I'm gonna do an extra 10 on each, on each movement for all y'all watching. Let's get it. 20 reps each. All right, <laughs> so there you go. That was brutal. It feels good, I'm telling you. Only two pieces of equipment, kettlebell and a 12 pound medicine ball. 45 pound kettlebell, 12 pound medicine ball. And uh, yeah, I feel amazing. Those endorphins are running. You can see I'm sweating like crazy. <laughs> but uh, yeah, let's get it. Okay, so there you have it. That's the, the workout for today, and that's also the update on the 10,000 Kettlebell Swing Challenge. If you have any questions or comments, uh, you want to leave any of your uh, successes that you've been having, please feel free to leave them down in the comment section. And uh, like I said, stay tuned for more content to come. There's a lot of things I have on the horizon. I'm telling you, I meant what I said. 2020 is going to be my year, and I want to help you make it your year as well by showing that it can be done no matter what walk of life you come from no matter what your goals are, no matter what you're dealing with. I can do it, you can do it. All right, we got this. I thank you so much for watching this video. You enjoy the rest of your day and I'll see you in the next one.